Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy 2. I am the Doctor and this is Super Luigi Galaxy 2, which I already told you. Um, so that was strictly not really necessary, but I enjoyed saying it anyway. So, this time we are on some slightly more gimmicky levels. I don't know why I took that, I didn't actually need to take that bugger. I thought that was the best way of getting to the rolling masterpiece galaxy. Yep, yeah, essentially this, this episode, what I intend to get done are these two gimmicky levels, the rolling masterpiece galaxy and the beat block galaxy, and then just Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleets. Then we'll have finished this world, everyone will be happy, especially me. Um, and then we'll have beaten world 3, which will be half- no, it's not halfway through, because I've forgotten about the special world. Um, because, yes, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of stopped talking and then said because, so I kind of had to continue with that thought, but wasn't sure why I could do with a thought. Anyway, this is ball rolling, so what you will be unable to see here is that once I jump on the ball <clears throat> once I jump on the ball like this I'm now holding the Wii Remote vertically as I kind of move the Wii Remote left right forward backwards I'm basically tilting it like a lever to control this so without further ado we have to go through this art based level and see if I can remember where the green star is Ah, oh, right, for now, okay, we had to find the key, the key was over here. Nope, those are Goombas. It was in the red little bowl thing, wherever that is. Up there, there. oh no, it was in the green bowl thing. I don't know what I even mean by bowl thing. Oh, oh ow, this is buggedly to control. Um, not your best one, Nintendo, I'm afraid. Just like, what gimmicks do people like? Good, in interesting line of thinking, certainly, down the kind of what gimmicks do people like, but a more interesting question to ask yourself was, do people like gimmicks? To this date, I still would say my favourite game co games console is probably the GameCube. Ooh, really? Um, and the GameCube doesn't have a gimmick, it's just a games console. Um, but now everything has to have a gimmick nowadays. Uh, someone was discussing this with someone the other day, of kind of, when did people start buying consoles for features rather than actually for games? Anyway, let's have that. Okay, did I miss it? Yeah, I missed it. Oh, I was too busy talking. The LPS curse. We suck at games because we're always talking about the games. Yeah. Right, let's go over there. Oh, those things flashing make me think my capture card's freaking out because they kind of flash as they come in. Is my capture card freaking out? Yeah. I don't know. Are we seeing strange flashes at the moment, or is that just me? Um, they appear to have stopped now. Anyway, I think it was just those things assembling themselves, but it made me think something was going badly wrong. But yeah, that's the first star. Yeah. So the second green star is pretty much right at the end of the level, so we have to ride the lift up first things first and not accidentally get to the star on the right. On the left even, so let's go to the right. Oh, that's really hard to keep this ball steady as well, like I'm putting it, he says doing it perfectly, um, or not. Now these will switch back if you switch off them, so we'll obviously go over, <coughs> oh my god, oh my god, I was too busy coughing to talk and too busy talking to cough. This was a bad situation for all concerned, at least we only go back to the, yeah, flag. Ooh, let's get them. It's really difficult to get star bits on this as well, because of course then you've got to point at the screen and waggle the Wii Remote. But when you're actually controlling with the Wii Remote, waggling it is generally not a good idea. You can also, yeah, as you may have noticed, press A to jump. I didn't actually explicitly tell you that, but you can, in case you hadn't noticed. You can generally presume that that is how I am jumping, is by pressing A. It tends to be the standard of Mario games. Now let's go on this little, what appears to be a ruler. That's one of those little graphics rulers with a metal slide in the middle for no real reason. Ah, oh, this bit. Yes. Yes, I recall this. Ugh. It's got grinders and bombs and holes in the floor! Um, let's go. No, I want to get over there before the grinder breaks it, thank you. Let's just jump that, jump there. I don't know why I'm jumping so much, actually. There's absolutely no need for that. Ugh, come on. There we go. Motion controls, blech. The only game I've found that uses motion controls really well, like really well. Actually, Skyward Sword, I would say, probably did. Um, oh god, I've forgotten this fucker was here. Get away! Um, Skyward Sword did it really well, and Matroid Prime 3 Corruption did it fantastically well. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and cannonball for the star. Oh my god. So you can kind of defeat this silver trump first, but it's more fun to get it this way! Yes, it actually works. Again, that's one of those things where I ch shout something triumphant upon. upon getting the star, and then it's really embarrassing if I don't actually get the star, and I just shout it this way, and nothing happened. So now we're on to the beat block galaxy, which is the next one, which basically 
This is one of the advantages of my new recording setup is that I can actually hear the music from the game. And in this level, that's incredibly useful because the music in the background is going bing, bong, 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 bing, bong, bong, bong. And you see how there's kind of a green box and a yellow box? It switches between which one's real with the beat. You can do it without the music, but the music just makes it that little bit easier. You're kind of not then constantly counting on your head if it means I can actually focus on talking. As I say, the balance... Oh, as I say. Um, the balance between talking and... <laughs> Ironically, when I can't remember what I was talking about that wasn't talking, the balance between talking and playing is a more difficult one to get. But sometimes if you, if you focus too much on the playing, you don't talk enough. If you focus too much on the talking, you don't play enough. And I want to do a bit of both. Dick, 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 switch! Two, three, four, switch! Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch! No, oh, I was stupid. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you count in eight. Counting fours, people, makes everything so much easier. Let's just pretend that didn't happen and keep going. This first one's kind of. Ooh, no, bugger! God, I have not got my ear in yet to this. I kind of thought it was going to switch just before it did, but it didn't, so I couldn't. Um, a lot of negative words there. Lots of didn'ts and couldn'ts and wouldn'ts. I should wait for it to change here, actually. That's much easier. I'm kind of trying to do it ahead of time and be fancy and sounding well. I'm just going to not do that. Yeah. The outsides of them also aren't real, so you can only stand on them when they're actually full. Here we need to go. Wee! I didn't even need the other ones to be there. And here. Oh, yes. You can kind of use the spin jump to just expend it, then to jump if you fuck up the timing by a little bit. Anyway, the green star is up there. See it? Um, die, motherfucker. Um, but to get to it is slightly more buggedly. Basically, we have to wait until the time is right on these things. And I like to do a triple jump along them, so when they're yellow... Yep. Then we basically go one, two, three... Nope, not at all. Unless this way might be actually easier. No, this way's probably slightly easier. It's buggedly because of the angle. We go one, two... Meh. Could just do a straight or oh, slippery Luigi. Right, let's go one, two. Eno! Oh, fucking game over again. This is not. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, you're wrong. Right, let's try this again, I think. Might be able to do it. Let's. Oh, no, let's not slip off the end. That'd be really embarrassing. We can just backflip and star spin. Oh, wait, no, we can't. I swear you can do that. I'm going to try that again, actually. Take three. Do the backflip trick again. You can just stand there-ish. Looks like we should be able to make it. Yes, I know we could. Yeah, no, 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 that's triple jump bullshit. That's bullshit. That's why I call it bullshit. I'm clever like that. Now, this bit's slightly more buggedly because of the timing on two, three, four, squeep! Ooh, ow, two, three, four, squeep. Two, three, four, squeep. I fucked it. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Ha ha! I don't know why I'm going like that. Where did that voice come from? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just not question it, you know. There we go. Right. Now we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere now. Now this bit is difficult to... I'm about to say it's difficult to die on, but I know I shouldn't say that. Uh, the green star is basically there. We have to use that yellow one in the corner that's got the fucker on it. So we need to attempt to kill the fucker, but of course we're going to do that when it's yellow. So let's go up and kill the fucker. Kill the fucker. Kill the fucker. Um, and then we just need to stand right in the corner of it like we did last time and do a backflip again. But it's just so much harder when the fucker's there. Oh, nope. Must. Bugger, bugger. Ooh. No, that didn't work. Didn't expect that to work. I crouched wrong. As much as one can crouch wrong. Oh, God. Bugger. Yes! Okay, that wasn't actually that smooth. Uh, it was kind of a bit of a skew with the angle. Um, but that worked nonetheless. Oh, this is going to be a tiny little episode, this one. I kind of don't want to start the next world until next episode. Um, no, my battery's fine. Shut up, you. Basically, I have one of those kind of things that plugs into the back of the remote that charges just by sitting it on a stand. Really bloody useful. Uh, but as far as... Basically, once you... The machine will say it's charged to full. The Wii remote will think it's only charged half, but then it, the half charge will last twice as long. So it does essentially charge it fully. It's just that the Wii doesn't think it's fully charged. It always tells me it's low on battery when it never is. I'm going to say that, and then my remote's going to bloody die halfway through a really easy star or something like that, and I'm just going to do something stupid because my remote dead. Seems unlikely though, doesn't it? Me doing something stupid? Ha! That can't happen. Now, is this one I think it is or not? 
Oh, it's not. Oh, I thought this was... Well, no, I won't spoil that one, but it. it's the next Bowser level, so it's Bowser Jr. level. Um, no, no, the next Bowser level, not Bowser Jr. level, that has a really, really fun... Two really fun green stars, actually, but it's not this one. This one's more buggerly. Good music, though, in this one. Um, nope, those aren't real. Let's try that again. We saw the green star in the intro again, but as well, you kind of have to be looking for it to see these things. Oh, no, the electric turd's gone over there. Oh, these electric turds are really irritating. Let's get a Yoshi, please. Russell! I said that slightly too early, but oh well. Nope, I have to be on the same level as it. I forget Yoshi can't actually switch. Shoot up, he can only switch across. But yes, as you can see, he can tongue in a bullet bill and use it as a weapon. I get some of these undergrunts. Yellow turds! Can I eat the yellow turds? Um, yes, I can eat the yellow turds. That's good to know. Oh, I can't eat the yellow turds when they're electric. I've killed Yoshi. Yoshi has been assassinated by an electric turd. Um, ah, no, I didn't. I knew that was going to happen. Why? Why did I do that? Anyway, enough of this silliness. Let's just actually, this time, hit the switch. There, hit the switch. There we go. I said there we go before I'd actually hit the switch and it made me look stupid as well for a change. So yeah, we can shoot these... Okay, we can't actually break the mines, but we can shoot the underground gunners' bullet bills back at them, which is useful. And that is how we get the star, because the star is just ahead on one of these underground gunners over there. See that one I'm pointing at? Oh god, the bullet bill got close to me. Yes, we can break mines with those as well and actually get coins out good. I was really worried about I was going to die. Worried that I was going to die, not worried about I was going to die. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Doctor? Oh, turds again. There, stay down, motherfucker. Ah, uh, that's such a stock sound effect, that whirp. I hear it in so much. Now we need this guy to fire a bill at us. We destroy the underground gunner. And that reveals the green star, and now we just need to go and get it. Simple enough, and I managed it on without having to do a backflip off Yoshi. If you fuck that one up, you can just flip off the Yoshi and kind of give yourself a bit more time. Shit is going mental here, so I don't know why I decided to start showing you footage again here. So actually, maybe I'm not. I don't know. That's the thing. I talk about when I'm going to start showing you footage again, but of course, that is determined in editing. But I've spoken so much here, I feel like I might as well. Can I have a Yoshi here, please? Thank you. Oh, God, he's... Oh, the Yoshi's in a turd! The Yoshi is trapped in an electric turd. That was problematic. Uh, it's all good, though. Let's kill it quickly. Oh, no, it's electric now. Bugger. Oh, dear God. These things are so problems. Such problems. Many turds. <laughs> uh, I don't care what anyone says. I love the Doge meme. And yes, I call it Doge, not Doge or anything else like that. I call it Doge as in Vogue, even though it's not spelled with a U, but still. Um, I think it's hilarious. There's something about just kind of like deliberately doing bad grammar that really makes me laugh and always will. Um, and that's actually the first time I've used it in LP, which is surprising. Now this bit's cool here. Well, no, not this bit where we're heading towards the black hole, that's less cool. I was thinking this is another bit as well. God, I haven't played this game for a while, have I? Moron. Oh, there's all sorts of crap going on here, let's just kill the hammer. Oh, the hammer bastard got away, did he? Dixie he's so good. I need to... Oh, let's just destroy that thing here. Oh, hammer butt! Oh, he got me up... He, he hammered my ass, he did. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's, that's one for the taking out of context. Um, anyway, what I meant to do was... Kill. Okay, the hammer bastard goes up there, then we go up there after him. Don't get hammered up the ass this time. Eat him, eat him, eat him. There we go. Um, now we get a bullet bill from here. Nom 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 nom. And smash the smashy smash. Smash! Smashy smash. And then we hit the switch. Couldn't run the switch for a second. This is the cool bit. Hyperspace portal, and, <laughs> and the airship comes through it, and another one. And these, this platform fits perfectly in the middle. It's really cool. Oh, you will have briefly seen the star off to the right there. That's where it is. Haha, <laughs> this one's a right cunt to get. I hate it. Um, sorry about that language. That was unnecessary. Um, but this one is, well, we'll see. If I get it in first try, I'll be very happy with myself. This one's one that's more challenging to do with Luigi. Oh, steady thumb, steady thumb. We got this. Oh, we totally got this. Oh, okay. That one wasn't at all as anywhere as difficult as I remember it being. Some of these are being like that. I'm having some real troubles with the ones I shouldn't be having, and I'm not having troubles. I know less than half of you half as well as you like might like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. But on that note, uh, it's been a shorter episode this episode, but I like to, it's nice to finish a world at the end of an episode, and then we'll be on to the next world for the next episode, and the next world is where shit starts getting really fun. Um, from here on, like, we're kind of at the quick portion, and no, we're kind of through the slow portion of the game, and for me, this is where it kind of really gets going and starts getting interesting, and they throw you some really cool green stars. So you've got that to look forward to next episode, so that's why this one's been a little shorter. 
as ever, thank you very much for watching. Stop spinning, Toad. You look ridiculous. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I have been the Doctor with the Infamous Gentleman. This has been Super Luigi Galaxy 2. I managed my outro in one that this time. Oh, it would have worked, but then I said that instead of this, which is only a tiny mistake, but I can't really allow myself to get away with that. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next episode. Good day.